You know, home values in the Puget Sound area have slowed way down over the past year. But while the rate of appreciation is slowing, the Puget Sound area does remain one of the most expensive housing markets in the nation. A lot of us struggling to afford it and here to offer some practical advice about renting, buying, how to navigate this housing market. Re Windermere Real Estate Chief Economist Matthew Gardner and a pleasure to have you here once again. Thank you for asking me. OK, so. Um, the best advice that you can uh, give a home buyer right here, right now to get a good deal or the best deal they can get? Well, there's a couple of things you need to look at. Firstly, be comfortable with the debt load. Be comfortable with the fact you're going to be living in a house, ideally five to seven years, but be comfortable with the mortgage payment. That's front and center uh, in terms of somebody's decision making. Now, then it's be a case of what can you afford and where can you afford it? Naturally, home prices are greater the closer you are to where you work. And there's, by the very nature of it, that happens. Um, but when, you're, when your choices are out there, and you really have a lot of options now, and I think you'll see more options this year, more inventory, just be very thoughtful. Don't grab the first house. And certainly don't buy more house than you actually need. Oh. It comes back to the being comfortable with that, with that debt load. So if you're comfortable with that, you know you're going to stay in your job, you're comfortable in your careers, you're comfortable with your mortgage payment. Buying a house still ultimately is something which... Uh, every household, well, vast majority of households, uh, that's their choice. That's where they want to be. So, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd heard for a long time, buy as much house as you could possibly afford. Maybe not so much anymore. Now, we've, had, we've seen a, a building boom over the past few years. I mean, thousands of homes and, and, you know, condos flooding the market right now. What kind of an impact has that had? Well, that's what's interesting you, you made that statement. We've seen a flood, yes, but what's it been a flood of? It's been a flood of apartments and nothing else. So we came, when the credit markets thawed back in 2012, developers wanted to build again, but the only thing they were essentially allowed to build, uh, given borrowing money from the banks, were apartments. So we flooded the market with several thousand apartment units. We weren't really building that much in the way of single family housing. We weren't building at all that much in the way of condominiums. So we saw mm. a flood of apartment projects uh, more than anything else. So that's where the building boom's been coming from. Okay, so the, so the rental market then would be a, a buyer's market. Yeah, what we're seeing actually is interesting because we uh, flooded the market with apartments, certainly in the urban areas, we've actually started to see rents come down. Rental rate growth has softened because of additional supply. So a lot of people are saying, you know what, if my rent's not going to go up, perhaps I'll sit back another year. Perhaps I'll wait and not buy until the market starts softening a little bit. Is that a good strategy? Uh, it can be. I think it all depends on where you are. Now, ultimately, when you think about waiting, two things will happen. Will prices be higher in a year than they are today? I believe that they will. Okay. Additionally, will mortgage rates be higher? Yes, they will. Now, we're still seeing remarkably low rates, actually, although my forecast is the end of this year will still be below 5.5% on a 30-year fixed mortgage. Still cheap, but mortgage rates will be higher. That means your buying power will be less. In addition, you're actually going to see home prices higher. So uh, the question of do you jump now or later, that's very much an individual decision. There's, there's benefits to both sides of that. What advice would you give to people that are debating whether to rent or buy right now? What, what would you tell them? How long are you going to be around? Yeah. Uh, if you know that your job, you're safe and you're happy with where you are, uh, that you're going to be around the region for several years, then ultimately, again, if you're happy with that debt load, buying does make more sense. There are, however, some people that they're, they're more transient and they, they think they're going to be here for a couple of years, they're working in a software company, whatever that may be, perhaps they're going to be moving on. Then, obviously, buying, probably not the smartest move for them. But if you're here and you're comfortable here and you're comfortable in your career here, you're ultimately moving out of, of rented accommodations into home ownership, and that's the goal of a vast majority of people. All right. Uh, Matthew Gardner, a pleasure. Always Thank welcome. you so much Thank for your you. time.